Hey everybody, Charlie here. Welcome back to Surviving Mars. Just got another anomaly analyzed. Open up some tech. STEM reconstruction. Retirement age and death from old age happen later in a colonist's lifespan. Very good. Also, water conservation system. Uh, water consumption in domes reduced by 50%. Also very good. So I've decided uh, I still want safe mode because I still want the sanity breakdowns and stuff. But if I can prevent a colonist from dying, I will. And also, if I can have the seniors uh, potentially go back to work for a little bit longer, uh, I would want to do that too. The issue is, like, the amount of research it takes for these. It's a lot. So, uh, I'm going to take the money that we get from this, the $750 million. We're going to do some outsourcing, just a little bit, just to give us a little bit of a bump. But I think the Martian board resilience, not that, not that important. This one and this one. Tons of money. We'll use the money from these to outsource into these later. So I will add STEM reconstruction to the list. Okay. Now we've got deep scanning happening, and deep scanning has revealed another anomaly right here. So, little explorer guy, automated as he is, is going to go ahead and take that and do that right now. This region here is getting a huge bump from the sensor towers. And, oh man, I'm, I'm really tempted to make another sensor tower. They have no maintenance, so it speeds up scanning so fast, you know? I think I'm going to pop a bunch of them back here. One, two, three, four. I'm going to build four more on this. And uh, we'll make sure that electronics are brought here. And it's metals, right? Yeah, metals. So we want metals... We want metals and electronics brought here. And then we'll have the RC commander come on over here. Hopefully in range of both this and this, and they have these all built. It might be too far away, in which case I'll just like wrap it around this, because that might be cool too. But we'll see. Until Anomaly today. analyzed. Gain 500 million funding. Okay, new plan. We can outsource now if we want to. Safe mode breakthrough is going to be fast. Then we'll go right into growth stimulators. I think I'll outsource now. A thousand, thousand science for 200. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, actually, we'll do it again. We'll do. We'll, we'll double it. I want lots and lots of science. So, let's do it again. Outsourcing is giving us 400 science, which is double what our sponsor is giving us. This is still slightly out of range. Can you get in range? Just ever so slightly. Oh, it looks like you can. Definitely can. Got it. Wonderful. Let's build these sensor towers. This is a dust storm. So we're going to have power deficit for a bit. Uh, safe mode is complete. So no sanity breakdowns, which means this dust storm not affecting anyone's sanity. They don't care. Martian borns don't take sanity from outdoor buildings. I would really like to put that back on the list, but... All right, so growth stimulators has actually got a big boost here too. That's cool. And then uh, we'll go into both of the money, the big money ones here, the stem reconstruction, and then the water conservation, I think is the next big step here. Because we're down on water right now too, right? Water and oxygen and everything. It, it, not power. Somehow we're up in power. Somehow. Uh, mm, should I? Heavy workload. Should I be doing that on you guys right now? Resources are low. I think no. I think I think no. I'm gonna pull you back because I don't want your sanity losses to go to go even bigger. Incoming meteor. Okay, so you wrecked my water real bad. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks a lot, game. Uh, let's get this. Okay, we'll go ahead and let's just turn this off for now. And then we'll grab you, bring you all the way back over here. Cool. So sensor towers are up. That's going to give us a huge scan bonus on all these sectors that we need to scan over again. And hopefully we find some interesting things. I'm hoping for deep... Like, I'm hoping for rare metals is what I'm hoping for. This anomaly is going to give us another t more tech to look at. Dust storm is done in 14 hours, thankfully, so I think we'll be fine on water. Yep, we'll be fine on water. We'll be fine on oxygen, too, hopefully. Anomaly analyzed. Yeah, we'll be fine on oxygen as well. What's the There's tech? More to the Hanging gardens and sustainable architecture. Okay. 
Okay. Not bad. Beautiful park complex that greatly improves the comfort of all residences in the dome. Okay. It's a spire building. Not bad. Yeah, it could be better, though. Once growth stimulators are done, I think I'm going to pop... Uh... Oh. Oh, this is a good one. We're going to do that one instead. Requiring maintenance less often is huge. There's the electronics factory. When did that appear on the on the research scale? It doesn't matter. I have the I have the small prefab. To to expand this, I'm just waiting for the scans to get done. And then we pop another dome down or whatever, right? Hmm. Another dome's over here too. A big dome right here. We'd have to flatten this, of course, but we could get major research center right here. Put like two Hawking Institutes in here. It'd be wild. So even deep scanning is revealing nothing around here, you know? Like, what's going on? Even the deep scan is proving pointless. <laughs> uh, doesn't function during dust storms. So even these shut down. But you're just throwing seeds everywhere. I mean, what's wrong with that? Dust is gonna carry the seeds even further. Like, that's the whole point, is throwing the seeds everywhere, right? Maybe not. Maybe it's more like an effective range kind of thing. And, uh, you know, the dust storm would carry it outside the range. But, like, whatever, it would carry it into this range. I don't know. I don't know why these don't function in the dust storms. But, I guess. Okay, dust storm is over with. And so is the deep scanning for this area. Unfortunately, there's just nothing here. It's just a freaking barren wasteland here for resources. So, okay. Uh, what we'll do is I'm going to put another dome, I think, uh, right here, I think. What, I think what will happen is this. We'll eventually get rid of this oxygen tank. We're going to want to move it. Or we don't have to move it. We could just stick it right here. Yeah, we'll, we'll just curve it around. It's fine. We'll leave this oxygen tank here. We're going to move these. But I'm going to put another dome right here. I'm, I'm going to give in and put another dome here. And when I do that, uh, let me just double... I think it'll be fine. Because it can reach... That reached a long ways, right? This was reaching from here all the way to the end of this dome. So it's reasonable to assume that we can go all the way to here with this. So I'm thinking if I don't want to get rid of all this stuff, and I definitely don't want to get rid of the battery, because it's very expensive and it's got a lot of power in it, I would put a, I would put a dome like here. And these things would share you know, access to some resources and stuff. But we would do this. So let's level the terrain. I did, told you guys I didn't really want to do that, but I'm going to do it anyway. Let's flatten this surface to match. Yeah, we'll flatten this. Like, like that. Like that. Yeah. And I guess we'll also... I don't want to get rid of all the rocks. I don't want to get rid of all the rocks. I'm going to wait and see what happens with this. If I can keep these around, I will. And I think I can. I think I can keep these. I would really like to keep these. I like how it just, it's so fast. And we have a marker here too. It says waste rock. We have 1.4K waste rock. Like it's, it's keeping track of our waste rock storage because we can use that, right? For landscaping stuff. So it makes sense that it would keep track of it. Explorer's got nothing to do. Sad face. Maybe once the scanning stuff keeps going, it'll have something to do. We'll keep scanning at the top first since it's easier to access. Oh, it's actually not because we have the... Hmm. We have the, the tunnel now, so it's not that easier to access. Whatever. We'll, let, we'll just let it go. This here produces a ton of food. I'm just saying. This is a lot of food. And I'm actually going to close this off because of how much food it is. We can have these people working somewhere else because of how much food that is. It is insane. We have 430 food in storage now. I mean, granted, eventually we'll want to open that up for more people. But right now, I'm going to have less people work there because it's just unnecessary how much food that is. Okay, this is apparently... Uh, is this good enough, though? Is it? Is it what I want? Is it good enough? Hmm. 
where's my tunnels going? It will be here. This is going to go out this way and then over. And then this is going to get replaced. And it's so this is going to go away. This, this living complex goes away. Uh, is that good? Maybe this goes away. We go around like that. A little zigzag, but we could make that work. This is easier to get rid of. I don't want to. I want. I don't want to displace people from here. Plus, I want them to work here, right? But this removes a lot of comfort. So, uh, meh. Complete a special project. Partners on Earth are greatly appreciated. Yeah, 860 million now. Okay, meteor showers coming again. I hate them. I hate meteor showers. Meteor showers suck. You're stupid. Uh, we can do the barrel dome. Big barrel dome, huh? What do you think of that? Big ass barrel dome right here? Huh? Have a whole lot of people, have these two domes both connected to it, and then we put the university in here. As well as a lot of comfort stuff. We could make that happen. We could make that happen. It's polymers maintenance. It's polymers maintenance. It's a lot of polymers maintenance. We'll have to have more people making polymers, though. Which means more water. I think we can handle it, though. I'm going to set that there. And then I'm going to have this rocket come down over here for now. Mm. I'm going to have the rocket come down here, actually. This is fine. We're going to set this up. And uh, the big barrel dome is gonna be, we're gonna replace a lot of stuff. I think I might actually move the living complex here. Uh, maybe, well, hang on. If we get the research for sustainable architecture, no, it's uh, not sustainable. It's not sustainable architecture, it's this. We'll have less water consumption there anyway. I was gonna think about doing a spire. Medical import greenhouse gases. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. This is interplanetary projects. So we don't have to build anything for this. We're just, we, these are two projects we can do on an ongoing basis, planet wide. Okay. Get this to land. We probably want to look into getting another one of these too. Getting another one of these would be cool. It's just machine parts, you know? And we're almost out. We're almost out. You guys got to work overtime some more. We are really... I might actually have to have people work overnight, too. It's just bad. We don't want that. We really don't want that. Resources are low. Sustainable architecture is done. Growth stimulators will be done very soon, too. So let's get this added, and then uh, we can start looking at all this funding we're going to start getting after this. Maybe we just go after the funding first. We have enough funding to send machine parts right now, so it's not critical that we get the funding. I want the growth. I want the vegetation growth faster. Although, uh, one could argue that since we don't have any seeds anyway, that's kind of a wasted research. And I would actually say that you're probably correct about that. I think you're probably correct about that. Yeah. Okay, then. Uh, new plan. New plan. We're gonna take, uh... Is it this one? It's this one. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna push this one first. Since the funding is theoretically more useful to us than this is anyway. And we'll do this one second. We'll kick growth stimulators down to third. Oh wait, no, that's not how that works. Uh, we wanna do this first. Okay, then Martian copyrights, yeah. So this dome is going to be basically a service dome. It's going to be people living here, but it's going to have the university. They can go to college. We can get specializations. Specializations will be critical since this, no specialization, you know, it's bad performance. Worker performance is, is bad. Thankfully, we have a workaholic there, but this one's not. And some of these guys are going to have bad morale. I can't have people losing sanity and stuff. 
Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Refuel the rocket, refuel the rocket. Goodbye. All right, as soon as that thing gets to Earth, we're bringing back, honestly, I think it might be worth it to bring it back. Well, we're producing it about the same pace as we're, make, as we're consuming it, but that's with these guys working hard, and I don't want them to work hard like this. I don't want them to do that. I don't know, we'll see. Wait, this is a get no, wait, wait, that's not that's not how that works. This is judging by yesterday. Yeah, oh my god. The maintenance. The maintenance, I say, the maintenance. Having more people work here would be a good idea too. Uh, I just I just want people. And what with this dome being built, we can afford to bring more people from the rocket too. Can I have people bring us? Can you help us? You don't really have much of anything to help us. Uh, you have metals. You have polymers. That's pretty good. Will you guys help us? Can you, uh, can you guys send polymers for us? Thanks. What about you, Russia? Electronics is kind of nifty. You have a good standing with us. Maybe we could, uh, maybe we could, you know what? Let's grab polymers from you too. We'll get a whole bunch of polymers this way. You don't have anything that can help us. You can, might be able to send us some concrete. I wonder if they'll send us rare metals. It doesn't look like it. You can send us some concrete. You have a lot of it. We don't need it though. That's the thing. Maybe sharing, maybe sharing tech. Okay. We don't want low fungi, so no thanks. We don't have a landed rocket. We will send 50 food in exchange for concrete. That's not really that great of a trade for us anyway. Eh, all right then, fine. Oh, we can also start making electronics on our own too from this building. We'll work on that too. It'll be a small place, but I think if we're, as long as we're making it like a full workforce all the time with specialists. Sector scanned. I would think with specialists, this is good enough for our colony. This little one here. Should be good enough for what we got going on. Provided we have specialists in here. Because his performance is 123 compared to the person next to him, which is 41. So this one guy here, he's 133 actually. His performance is worth three of her. Yeah. He's basically three of her. So if we can get specialists in here, that would be so much better. Technically, our production per soul predicted is 2.5. So with that, we will offset our expenses today on machine parts. Food is, food is just ridiculous right now. Okay, this dome is built. Let's start getting it working. We can't pause it, so let's rock and roll. We want to get... Uh, let's see. Research lab is kind of pointless for this. We can get some living quarters for bringing people, but that's not necessarily that important yet. I think what I want are, I, I want to put more people in these, in these domes if possible. We also have to connect them. So that will be here. Let's get rid of that. And then, uh, can this go out this way and then over and over? I think so. I think that'll reach. This is a big bit of a gamble. I'm going to do it. Open air gym is gone. So that means I need to build the open air gym here. We'll stick that over here. We'll stick a grocer in the middle there. We'll stick the infirmary in the middle here. Yep, and then uh, we're gonna want a university. Do I even have that unlocked yet? I don't. Uh, the whole plan was to have a university, hang on. Um, well, again, before we have the university, we wanna make sure that we're able to produce electronics. So we could start with pr producing electronics. That would be here, right? No, it's, where in the world did it go? Oh, it's in production. Small electronics factory. Put the small electronics factory, uh, we'll stick it on the edge over here. Okay, let's see if we can get these things connected. We want to put 
passage from here. And then connect it there, I guess. There. Uneven terrain. I'm going to have to remove that. Oh, I'm going to have to remove it. Unless I can go around it. Can I can I go zigzag? I am going to have to terraform. Damn it. Hold on. Can I flatten you? Can I make the brush size smaller? Like, the brush is really big, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of this. Damn it. I don't want to get rid of it, but I'm going to have to. Flatten this. Flatten it. Ugh. Darn it. Well, maybe this can stick around at least. That sucks. All right, what about this one? Can we at least do it with this one? It's this. This is what's blocking it. Can I cancel this? Hang on. Can we... <laughs> Stupid no pause. So I can't flatten if I already have things built on the land I'm trying to flatten. That's unfortunate. So I won't be able to... F oh no, I won't be able to do this then. I'm not going to be able to do this. I have to flatten this because it's the only way I can get it over here. Oh, that sucks. All right. Well, get it done as best you can. Yeah, as best you can. I really wish this was n narrower. Is there any way to make this narrower? Can I make this smaller? Like, this is huge. Oh, press R and T to resize. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, read the instructions, Charlie. R and T to resize. Oh, thank you. Okay, good. Uh, what we want is this. Yeah, this is this is way better. Okay, this is better. <laughs> read the tool tips, Charlie. Okay, fine. I'll read the tool tips. This right there. Come on, flatten that. Excellent. R and T to resize, huh? Okay. It still doesn't solve this, but maybe we can sneak this in. Well, once this is flat, then we can use this as a reference point for that, right? I think. Let's speed up time. I know, I'm just using up a maintenance cycle right here, aren't I? Uh, we got a reward. Oh! Oh, we got the prefab! Build a machine parts factory, polymer, and electronics factory. That gives us the Martian... Th that gives us the university prefab. Oh, oh, right on. Right on. Yeah, totally forgot about that. We have a prefab for this, so let's do it. Uh, we'll put this right, uh, right here on this side. Mm, this makes it challenging, though, doesn't it? I think it does. We'll put it up, we'll put it up here. Flatten this down, come on. Uh, actually, can you not build that right now? Can you not build that right now? Can you can you not? Where's where's this? Where's the dummy that's building this still? You, you, go away. Don't build that. Not yet. I don't want the maintenance on it yet. I should have done that with this, but I, I you know, I'm gonna do this. Is this done? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. I really don't didn't want to remove this. I didn't want to get it right get rid of that man. The game left me no choice. Okay, these, this is foreign aid rockets. We'll have them land here. That gives us stuff. And then this foreign aid rocket gives us stuff as well. We can land this over here. Now, our rocket has arrived home. So, what do we want to bring? Well, I think electronics is needed. And machine parts for now, too. Um, but... If I can bring seeds, yes, 15 seeds. Let's, um... No, I need the electronics. I need the machine parts. Yeah, it's just the way it is. Uh, we can bring a couple more drones. Now, let's leave the money. Oh, we can we can do more seeds. Yeah, yeah, just more seeds. We have, we have exactly enough money for more seeds. Okay, 25 seeds being brought. 10 electronics and uh, 15 machine parts. Go ahead and launch. Is this done yet? I really need to connect this dome. I'd like to connect the dome, please. We could do um, apartments in here, maybe? 
It's not very comfortable. Let's at least put somebody in here. Let's put some people in here at least. And then we could even do an indoor ranch if we wanted to for food, which eh, I think we're good on food. We'll need another polymer factory, absolutely. We'll definitely need that. So we'll put that here. Because we, we absolutely have to have people making polymers. But we're not going to build it yet. Because we don't have the people yet. I shouldn't have built the other thing yet. It was too late. Space Y is going to complete a planetary anomaly. I, you know what? It's There's nothing I can do about that. So you just go right ahead and do what you want to do. Payload. Unload the polymers. Unload the polymers. Oh, lots and lots of polymers being unloaded. Can we have this done, please? I really need to connect these domes. I really need to connect this. These people are not very comfortable. It's not going to be here. Actually, they're comfortable enough to have babies. That's surprising. That's really surprising, actually. Um, very surprising. Let's give them a couple more... never figure out where the hell it is. Sector scanned. Let's put one more living quarter there. And maybe even another bar. What's their needs right now? Relaxation and exercise. Right. You can get that from over here, though, when, you're, when this is done. As soon as this is flattened. Almost done, hopefully. Very close. I'm worried that this is going to be a problem now, so we may have to go around that, too. We'll have both of the entrances maybe over here. Which leaves this whole triangle for us. Okay, so can't pause, but let's slow it down. Passage, I want to go like... It works, good. Does it work here? No, I need it to work here. Uh, hang on, uneven terrain. Let's go like this. If I build this, the question is, does this work? Yes, excellent. This is where we'll have the in intake. These will both be connected to these two here. Oh, discovering that you can do that. Best discovery of my freaking day. Best discovery of my life, I swear to God. Uh, <laughs> there's still things to learn in this game. Are you are you kidding me? Uh, fountain, let's put that over here. Just a little bit of comfort things. Uh, we'll then put another living quarter, I think, over here too. Yeah, good idea. Another living complex can go here. Comfort-wise, this is still the better one to do. Anomaly analyzed. There's more to the barren environment. Uh, compact passenger module and moisture off. farming. I believe moisture farming is for the... <clears throat> yeah, the moisture vaporators. That's cool. Terraforming uh, subsidies. So now we're going to start getting into the research that gives us a ton of money. That's what we needed. Carry 10 more, pass 10 more colonists in a passenger rocket. Mm now i think after this is done i'm gonna add the shuttle hubs to the to the list <clears throat> all right so if people start living here oh there's no power well that's because these aren't built but they'll have power once that's done it doesn't matter we can do this instantly so let's just do that and we can also do the pipes instantly so let's just do this now you have power and water and oxygen and all the things Congrats. Now, when we have dust storms and stuff, this is going to be even worse because oxygen tanks are full now, but it won't be later. So let's have a, one extra oxygen tank. We'll attach it to this side. Just so we can stock up, right? Water-wise, we're still we're producing all we can, but we're going to run out. Mm, we got we got some time yet on that one. We also have this one being drawn in, and that one's got a little bit of time left too. Oh, oh, deep metals, deep metals, deep metals, deep metals, right here. Oh, oh, good. Oh, I was really worried about that. Ah, uh, ah, uh, rare metals, rare metals. <laughs> Finally, 
<laughs> finally, rare metals. Oh, finally. Good. All right, well, we're going to have another dome over here for sure. Deep water! <laughs> this will be a lake. You know this is going to be a lake. Um, I guess my biggest question is, though, can we, can we use... Can we extract from this when it becomes a lake? I, I, do we even need to? I, I don't. I don't know. I don't know how that works. How does our technological needs change as terraforming progresses? You know, waiting for resources to be unloaded. What's going on here? Let's go. How many drones do you have? Ten. You have. You don't have nearly enough drones. Let's pack up some of yours and send them over here. Uh, how many? How many do you have? We need more drones here too. This rocket is bringing, not bringing more drones. We need more drones. Oxygen tank is built though. Hopefully that means, yeah, it's increasing, good. So we're just gonna wanna stock up a bit more on that. And I think it might be a good idea to stock up more on power as well because we have a 50 deficit during the night now. 50 Sector deficit. Uh, we need more people though. After this rocket, though, we're gonna do that. Transport! Transport's malfunctioned. Uh oh. It's probably those stinking dust devils. Hang on. Come on over here and fix your fix our buddy. Where is he? Right, hold on, where is he? It's over here. Okay. Come over here, fix our buddy. You can go just here, it's fine. Alright, this rocket has very valued supplies. Uh, we're gonna land it right here. Valuable supplies. Come on, drop down. These guys will leave as soon as we get their polymers off of it. Which we're not really doing, because I don't know why. Why aren't we doing that? Waiting for resource unload. Like, why are you guys sitting around doing nothing instead of doing this? Can I help you? What's up with that? Is it bugged? You're in range. It's just sitting here doing nothing, and I have this cranked all the way up to the highest priority. But you're gonna stand there and do nothing instead. Huh? Okay, I am genuinely, I am genuinely baffled by that one. Perhaps you're unloading yourself? Oh, you know what it probably is? Storage. I bet it's storage. If I put a depot, if I put a polymers depot, like right here, does that change anything? Yes, that changes everything. Okay, it's storage. It's full. It's because we have a hundred. We have a hundred polymers. We can't store anymore in these little. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Oh, <sighs> guys, seriously, we finally found some rare freaking metals that we can use. Like that's within usable distance, right? And this deep metals, man, not exploitable with our current technology. But I mean, if we can get deep metal extraction that would be that's the next great step we'll never run out of metals at least not for the foreseeable future that'll be wild moisture vaporators would be then the, the critical thing to get because that's metals maintenance yep yep all right this rocket's gonna lift off and go as soon as it can but it still has seeds on board Never mind. It's, nope, it's all unloaded now. Bye. I could have done a project. I could have done a project, but I, I want passengers. I, I want people to Anomaly come down. here. Outside drone commander range. Rut row. Rut row. Rut row. Oh, rut row. Shit. It's almost there. You have to have the middle of the dome within range. And I, I just assumed I didn't. Ah, uh, well. Ah, uh, <laughs> the other one too. Ah, uh, <laughs> okay, fine. Well, I'm gonna put another, I'm gonna put another drone hub here so that we can properly access this later anyway. So we'll have to do another drone hub. Oh, there's more, there's more resources over here too. Yeah. Thankfully, this is all happening over here instead of on top of us. 
We should see if there's anything else over here, actually, next to this. I'm gonna... This is 97% done. I'm gonna wait for this to be done, but then... I think, yeah. Sector scanned. I think this is more important. We should figure out what's around us. What's around us directly here, first and foremost. Because if we need to put another dome over here or two or whatever, then th that'd be awesome. This game is so wonderful. I'm having such a good time. I hope you guys are too. We're finally getting some bigger patches of green here. We finally have some seeds, but we're going through the seeds really fast. Like, it's, it's, not, it's not a slow process. This is going to be a billion dollars. So when the rocket gets back, we could ship more if we need to. I don't think it's super urgent yet. We are technically overproducing, or we're technically keeping up with production. I don't want these guys working hard every day, though. I'm going to stop them from doing that. We're going to get some sanity decreases, and I don't want that. Although, they don't have any... They're not going to get any bad traits from sanity breakdowns. Right? They're not going to... That's not going to happen anymore, because... That's the breakthrough we got. Safe mode. So if they have a sanity breakdown, they're just gonna fall up and they're just gonna wake up after six hours. And uh, hey, they got 70 sanity again. They won't commit suicide and they won't gain flaws. You know? So is it really necessary to have officers around? I, I, mean, I guess? The only thing I can see for officers, you know, if we get renegades, then fine, but. I don't see why we get renegades if they're not going to have sanity breakdowns, I guess. We could always use them for, like, planetary missions and stuff, but... And we have officers. I mean, I'm not, like, without officers. I have officers. Uh, if I look at specialization, officer... I have four of them. One of them has pretty low sanity, though. What's going on with you? Why is your sanity so low? Complete. Huh? You're working on the polymer factory. You're working outside. Outside the dome. Okay. That's your that's your problem. That's not a big deal. Let's uh get another living space in here. Or we satisfy any additional needs that are unmet, which I think is just gaming at this point. No, it's uh, luxury and sh shopping and drinking. Yeah. All right. Shopping. Is, is it just shopping? Shopping is four. There's a big shopping need. I mean, grocer is the only way to do shopping, aside from spending a ton of money. We're spending a ton of polymers. Like, we, we're just not producing enough polymers to satisfy that need. I could put another grocer in here. That's about as best as I'm going to give them. Three out of eight inside. This is a service building that can service eight, so... Uh, this gives them relaxation, drinking, and social. Counters crime by renegades reduces sanity loss from disasters in all residents, which I don't need anymore. Because they're not going to get... They're not going to get sanity losses on disasters anymore either, right? I got that too, so... Officers are basically redundant aside from off like planetary stuff. You can do a small grocer. If you want grocers, I can give you a small one right here. How's that sound? A little bit more shopping. I'm not gonna the art store. Can I afford the art store? Can I afford the art store? It's gonna suck so much of my polymers away. Let me see what this does, the small one. Let me see what the small one does. Terraforming studies is complete, which means we have one billion dollars. I think lake crafting, hello, unlocks the creation of artificial lakes via landscaping. Evaporating water improves local soil quality and water of Mars. Ooh, wee, really? Really? Landscaping project, uh, artificial lake, you say. Evaporating water improves local soil quality and water on Mars. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, Shuttle hubs first, though. Thanks. But I like that. I like that a lot. It's great. Okay, I'm going to leave this video here. It's been going on for a bit. Do you guys like the length? 40 minutes or so? Should be good. 45 minutes or so. Is that a good length? Should we go a little bit longer? Should we go a little bit shorter? Let me know. I, typically, my channel has between if you're if you're new here and you're like, hey, what else does he do? Typically, my channel has eh, 
videos between 35 and 45 minutes is, has been a pretty good estimate. Sometimes it falls a little under 35, sometimes we go a little bit longer, maybe into the 50s. But generally speaking, that's the length of the videos for the most part on my channel. So I hope you're enjoying yourself. If you, if you are new here, um, be sure to hit the subscribe button. You'll get a lot of other content in the future. And uh, like and comment, all that stuff. I love your faces. Thanks for joining me on this wonderful adventure. We'll see you next time. Bye.